Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel here. It's the Mac and uh, welcome back to uh, a sort of a short video here. I'm still on vacation and I don't have that much uh, time to uh, get down to recording and stuff. But I have had some time to go through my games and install updates, do all that fun stuff. Uh, so I just quickly want to do a short video here uh, to go back to a game I've actually covered before on the channel. It's the campaign series Middle East uh, from uh, Campaign Series Legion and it's published and sold by Matrix Games. And I have covered this game uh, extensively uh, in a very old video. I think it's like three or four years ago I did a, a, uh, a sort of let's play and review of the game. Uh, but there's been some uh, big developments lately uh, and they have actually made a huge upgrade for, the, uh, for this game. Uh, they have released a new patch, the 2.30 patch. And uh, it's partly because the campaign series Legion have just, you know, they released a, uh, a campaign, campaign series uh, Vietnam, which I also covered on the channel, uh, which was a really, really great game. With, uh, they have, you know, really made a huge upgrade on these old series. Uh, to fit modern day gaming with, with the really de in depth uh, strategy um, thinking and uh, lots of different new things added to the games to make them, you know, bigger than the old original John Tiller campaign series, the East and West Front and the Rising Sun. I've also covered those, so do check out those old playlists, which still are some pretty badass games. Uh, and the, yeah, so let's get back to the Middle East here. Right? So this game here, they released a huge uh, patch, uh, 2.30. And what they did was, the, 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 the version I covered in, in my review, uh, like four years ago, uh, uh, was the old version. And so they sort of made that version into the same sort of version as Campaign Series Vietnam. They want to make this as immersive and huge as, as that title they released just recently. Uh, right, so we're gonna have just a quick look at it, and uh, so you can see some changes and stuff. Uh, we could go. Uh, yes, I think everything has been basically, you know, uh, expanded. So if you go into uh, so, sort of the manual here, it's now a, <laughs> a whopping almost 400 pages <laughs> manual for this game. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of extensive. Uh, it will take you uh, quite a while to read the whole thing, but it's uh, luckily they have the table of contents here, so you could quickly jump uh, to the different sections what you're you know what you want to know more about and what you're struggling with. So 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 they have all the boot camp scenarios covered in here as well. That's maybe because they've added a, quite a lot of pages because they are quite extensive in these games. The boot camps really good. Definitely should play them if you just never played any of these before I want to jump into the system do run the boot camps and you will be quite seasoned when you've completed them you know a lot about the game and how to play and what's going on uh, I, I still don't really grasp all the new new stuff that's come with this game it's so huge now there's so many different things that's actually in the game but I mean the playing is still the same basically but there's a lot of depth and a lot of things that goes on uh, be behind the scenes, basically. Uh, okay, so they have also a huge chapter of the scenario design here, I see, uh, scenario listings. This is interesting. Um, so they have the, the stock scenarios. Uh, cool, right? I haven't actually checked this out, but this looks good. Tells you all about it. And uh, there's, there's some, I think I've showed this on the, uh, uh, when I did the Vietnam one, is that now they have sort of, you know, there, there's some, if you fire this game up, you, you won't understand anything <laughs> when it comes to the scenarios. Like, for instance, if I go, all right, let's, let's play the game here, right? So one thing they have done is they removed the random battle generator, which I thought was really great, but it's no more. You can't do the random battles anymore, which is, in my opinion, it's not, it, it's it's bad because it was really good to have the random battle. It was so good to just sort of 
fire up a random battle, man, if you just want to like, kill an hour of gameplay and duke it out versus like fictional forces there fighting it over some place, you know. Uh, that was really good for, I really enjoyed that in these games, but they've actually re remo removed it now. Um, but they still have the three campaigns um, that was in the original. Uh, but we'll get back to that later because there are actually some things that you should be uh, Know about before you actually if you don't own a game or if, before you're updated this um, I'll go over that in a minute, but they have the same campaigns and the scenarios They have a huge uh, this is actually quite a lot of scenarios here uh, to, to get through, which is really great. And of course, people are going to make new scenarios. And they're probably going to upgrade the scenarios already created by the fan base on different gaming sites and stuff. But uh, this, yeah, what was going on before I was derailed was that uh, if you look at this, a scenario like this, it says uh, Kud Foda Algeria, right? Then H2H, that should be sort of, it's actually meant as a head-to-head uh, -head scenario it's actually balanced for a head-to-head -head fight but it says side a here that means that it's if you're going to play versus the ai side a is actually you know preferred it's historical scenario that means this his and the csl means it's campaign series legion design scenario and then there's a description and then this comes up here and it says all that means options these are the, the uh, optional rules, should be on. And it goes VV, that's variable visibility. Now, it, it, in, the, in the manual it says that if it says no VV, that means you shouldn't have it on. But if it says all options VV, that means probably that even variable visibility should be included. Because that's sort of a sensitive rule. Uh, none 2.1. What this means, I don't know. So we're gonna have to go back to the, to the, um, the uh, manual here. And luckily, I think, I think it's sort of explained quite early in the manual here. And this could be quite tricky uh, to, to figure out like how the um, scenarios are meant to be played and stuff. So you need to really understand this coded abbreviations in the, in the scenario descriptions. But it's all here, so you just read it. Uh, so here they give you an example. Uh, it's actually the same scenario we're looking at. So is as uh, so as it's, as i said it's, it's location it's play mode designer and then optional is rules yeah special designer and the game version so it's actually 2.10 still um all right so if it says none i think we're gonna have to go and look in here what that means and uh, here indicates there are no current special designer notes. Okay, so that that's if there are some some designer notes and stuff. So that's something to keep in mind, uh, you know, uh, with the um, with the scenarios. Could, so yeah, I'm not going to go too much in depth here because this is actually just going to be a short video. I don't have that much time to record actually. But um, right, so that's the manual. Really extensive, lots of information. And then they have the, uh, what's new? What actually comes with the two point, uh, but here it's, it's sort of misreading here because it says version 2.03. So, but I think they mean, because it says June 08, 2023. So I guess these are actually the enhancements and there's a shitload of enhancements now. They have all that stuff that you have in, Campaign series Vietnam. Uh, we're gonna fire it up real fast, and you can have a look. Um, so that actually, you can look at this file from their website as well. Another great thing is the um, Matrix Games forums. I gotta, I gotta give you a heads up from that, which is really good. Uh, you uh, should definitely. This is live and kicking, and here is a lot of information. This is where you should actually have a look at all your games you buy from Matrix Games because this is very good forums to tell you everything what's going on, people who report bugs and, and all that. Uh, so I'm actually going to go into that real now because I, want, I wanted to make a heads up that 
they just released a 2.30, but it's actually riddled with bugs, unfortunately. Uh, the game looks sweet, man. It's all good shit going on, but it's actually full of... There's quite a lot of bugs people have been reported here. So they've actually released a sort of a beta patch now for 2.31 uh, to fix those problems that people have encountered. And it's, it's quite a few, actually. There's something to do with the victory, uh, um, the objective points that not really quite right with the with the um, scenarios so it will, it will give you some weird victory conditions and and and, and other small things so, so they've already announced that they're, they're going to be they're already working on the patch now to be released uh, in sometime in after summer i think they will release a new one uh, f uh, that you will um, that you can use to to uh, to get to, yeah to play with, without with all them bugs fixed so that's a, a sort of so maybe if you guys want want now seeing this wow I'm gonna get this game now man uh, you know be aware that it's it's quite buggy uh, but they are gonna release it soon you know the 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 the, uh, the fix for all these people uh, these bugs uh, so I'm, I'm actually I haven't actually installed this new patch yet uh, I'm sort of just I'm sort of probably w will wait until, until there's like an official release and uh, I'll, I'll upgrade the game um, so but uh, here it is man uh, it's the uh, campaign here in Middle East there you go into the uh, new releases from Matrix is the board yeah and then you have the campaign series Middle East there and, and it's all here and, and another thing is that many of the scenarios they, they have the legacy AI for, for all the scenarios it's still there but they're going to be scripting all the scenarios and and, and, and they haven't been scripted for this 2.30 uh, so there's, there's still a ton of work to, to be to be made I think uh, because many of the I mean if you remember if you recall if you check out my the playlist for the campaign series Vietnam all those scenarios many of them I mean they, they were scripted they were pretty badass to play man they're so fun so much fun because it's almost like a real story unfolding uh, they haven't actually had time to do that yet, I think, for this, uh, but they will, and um, there will be random events and stuff that you saw in the campaign series Vietnam, uh, things that can happen, events during scenarios, which is really cool if you do something uh, in the scenario, there, there's consequences, and if you haven't, don't, you know, you have to really read your mission briefings, and if you don't pull it off, there's going to be consequences, or if you do something that actually is off the script it could, you could actually be re, uh, rewarded you know so there's some really cool things there and they're going to do that for this as well but they just haven't done it yet I, as i have when i've been reading through these forums and stuff they're still working on it and there's there's a few bugs and stuff uh but i just want to give you guys a head up and this is just some good shit coming here because as we remember the campaign series vietnam was really really enjoyable and they're going to do the same for this great game. And this is a very interesting uh, time of conflict. There's so 1948 to 85, man. So there was a lot going on there in the Middle East. So this is going to be one hell of a title when they when they finish with it. And uh, so do keep a look out of that. Right, so wrap this video up. I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to open the game. Uh, just start this for... Actually, let's check a bit here. Yeah, this, uh, I don't think there's anything... See here you go for the boot camps they have the CS en event engine enabled because they're sort of they are scripted and I think these are at least scripted and Milta Pass is not now so many of these are I think it's only like two scenarios that actually are scripted um, so it will come. It will, it, it will come. It will it'll look great. So I'm just going to go up and just kick off this and you'll just see some of the enhanced graphics before I end this video. So this this particular scenario is from the Algerian War. The, the French versus the FLN in um, 1958 there. So it's a French force patrolling a major roadway during the, way, uh, during the day while typically eventful ambushes so they're going to get ambushed. It's a typical scenario of a French force moving through enemy territory. And these uh, they're going to get ambushed. You have to fight your way, and grab some objectives, and, pr and probably leave the map. There's probably an exit hex since it's a, a, a patrol mission. 
One such ambush occurred as, as a company of the 4th Motorized Infantry Division was patrolling in the El Ataf region. While the patrol itself resulted in little, the return trip back to Clef Air, uh, Air Base found the company under attack by well-organized ambush by FLN units in the Ud Foda area. So, all right, so all options are on, and I I think this means that the uh, variable visibility should be on. So let's just kick it off and see here. Um, so they want you to be side A. Uh, we'll have fog and war. So they have lots of new rules now as well. As I think I went over these in the, the uh, campaign series Vietnam. They have the enhanced fog of war, which really is you don't know, you don't have no idea what's what's out there, man. <laughs> it's really scary. Enhanced spotting, enhanced reporting. So these are all these adaptive AI. Yeah, they have that as well now. Uh, indirect fire by the map, yeah, the, uh, vehicle facing effects, that's old stuff. Command control is new, but it's good. So variable visibility sh uh, should be included then, I guess. Historical landing zones, cool. All right, so they have all that. Let's just fire it up and we'll see what's going on. Right, Site A uh, command report. We have four airstrikes as well to call in, uh, which is pretty powerful. And Site A phase. One, we have 17 turns to pull off here. So right off the bat, this is the uh, zoom in 3D man. And you can see, it looks pretty sweet, man. The graphics are really good now. Wow, I mean, this is really, really nice to have a look at. Um, so you can sort of zoom out one step and you have a larger view. So the zoom levels should be the same as uh, campaign series Vietnam there. You have another 3D zoom out. This is the furthest one out, I think. Actually, this one is. Wow, okay. <laughs> uh, pretty far. All right, it looks like we have an exit hex over there. And then you have zoom out 2D and zoomed in 2D. Another zoomed in 2D. And another one. And the extremes. This looks really nice, the 2D as well now, to play this game. I mean, I, I think it, it, you know, it feels like a John Till, um, War Game Design Studio game. You have the same sort of setup with the hexes, and I like the slickness of it. It looks really nice. You have a more of a command overview here, what's going on. Some of the features can actually be spotted, um, you know, uh, better. Like this is Hamada terrain there. They also have the concealment, terrain of effect, modifier, morale, visibility. So concealment is obviously great in uh, in urban areas. Shrubs and stuff, right? So the 2D in here. Yeah, so they've also enhanced, as you can see, the toolbar is all nicely made and they actually also added some new graphics to the uh, side toolbar there uh, you can have all the, the icons uh, which is a lot <laughs> to keep track of but they have all this common combat here they have all divided them into different categories these are the most common ones used to have that this is great i think the quick map is also really sweet you can quickly see what's so over you can quickly jump over here for instance this is the uh, this took to Clef Airfield here, so we need to exit. So it's a classic scenario here. Um, so these are enemy held positions, controlled. Patrols coming in here. We're going to go down. We're probably going to be ambushed in this town. Fight them off. Hold the objective. Maybe leave something to the garrison here. Move on. Probably going to be another fight over here. And then we're going to have to race off some units to get some of those victory points there. So pretty cool. Uh, and they have also implement. I mean, I think the graphic, I the icons of the units have been improved as well. And the almighty F2 has now unit handbook. It's very extensive. With all the parameter data, movement costs, the uh, fire um, uh, diagram. So point blank, they have 49 versus uh, soft, I think, the red is. And the blue is hard targets. Actually, that might be 
wrong. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, where is that? Yeah, the range. Okay, so wow. Okay, uh, that could probably that's probably hard and that's soft. I think that's the case. Uh, we have a jeep there with a heavy machine gun on it. Yeah, I, I think that's the blue is soft and the red is hard. I think, um, if I remember correctly, I'm a bit rusty now. Uh, so. Yeah, so it's really well made, uh, good descriptions, tells you history of the units. Uh, what, I, what, what I don't have are those historical pictures, those photographs. They used to be there in the old titles, but you don't really need it. I mean, you can just Google some of these, and you quickly get images on the internet. That's what I usually do if I, if I you know, stumble upon a tank or something I'm not really familiar with. Just Google it, and there's tons of information on the internet. Or you just do YouTube, and there's probably someone has restored it <laughs> in working conditions. And you can actually see live footage of you moving around. Maybe some some even fire with it, you know. So it's pretty cool. You don't really need that uh, for the for the images in game. Since this game is window, I mean Windows based, you can just minimize and expand it easily. Yeah. So this is the patrol moving in there. All right. So yeah, we got airstrikes and stuff. It's a fun scenario. I've actually played this off camera. It was really fun. But as I said, there's some something about the victory conditions that are not right, really correct. Uh, and they're, they're, they're fixing those. So, right, I'm thinking to wrap it up. This actually became longer than I expected. It's easy, easy to uh, get caught up in a game like this. Uh, I just want to give you a heads up on this, man. Uh, so be aware, or if you feel like it, just get the update now, man. Buy the game. They're working their, their asses off to fix this. So uh, expect a new, uh, like a new patch coming in this fall. They, they, they have actually written that on the, on the forums. So it's still a really good game to play around with and, 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 and you know, uh, to get. Uh, because they're going to get this game up to speed and have it all working perfectly this fall. So really worthwhile. If, you're, if your poison is the uh, Middle East conflict with all the, uh, the wars there, uh, this is a really, really good game. I really recommend it. So just want to give you that information. Uh, right, so uh, have a good one, and I'll see you soon. I'll start posting some videos Hopefully, a couple of weeks or one week maybe, I'll start having a look at some of the new uh, games I got from the uh, War Game Design Studio sale. And there's a couple of other games I've actually acquired now that people have been asking on the channel. I will have a look at those and do some postings. So I want to thank you. Have a good one. I'll see you later.